And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Starfield, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. We're going to be continuing the side quest here, and trying to finish off as many of these as we can, and then moving on to main quest. Anyways, let's get back into it. Don't wander into any restrict. Good areas. I need that Rothesite if we want to. Good. Continue. You're here. It's time to put a plan in motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. In due time, we don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics, so our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. She'll give you the initial details. Yes, details. You see, the internal NeuroAmp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification, designed to protect the user against other NeuroAmp... users. Oh yeah, marketing and finance wouldn't have it any other way. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal NeuroAmp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. You're a Ryujin employee, and we need a job done. We've trusted you this far, so I feel it's safe to continue the trend. Good. I'm glad you see this as an opportunity. And I love a willing subject. Now it's just a matter of getting the key ingredient. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I've finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called Rothesite. Hmm. The last shipment we were supposed to receive never arrived, and we've gotten no response to our queries from the station. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to keep the discovery quiet, so... It's unusual for them not to respond. Yes, Consolidated Mining knows what's at stake if they fail to deliver. They consistently get the job done, which is why we chose them to run this station. And also why we're so concerned. We need you to head out there, secure the shipment, and bring it back here so Vina can complete her prototype. And I want to know what happened. We need to take any safety measures to make sure this... The station is called CM Station RC-1. It's on a moon called Karenay 3A in the Karenay system. Unfortunately, we had to cut ties with our supply chain manager, Camden Cho and his replacement is still getting up to speed. Otherwise, I may have had more useful information. Be prepared for anything. Don't worry, we'll figure it out and get that shipment back.
this again? Okay, let me try one more time. It's pretty simple. If I could use my Winston charm. I gave it a shot. I'm glad to see you. Sure we'll do this. Finally, I've been waiting. You're handling this whole captain thing really well, you know. Look good. Out we go. I wonder whether the result of the announcement. Not exactly the 
Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. I have never been one to shy away. I look forward to our next discussion.
expect priority docking for emergency patients. The clinic welcomes all. This area's off limits, authorized personnel only. An outbreak? I haven't heard anything about this. Uh, understood. Uh, here's an access card. Good luck. Not today. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. Fine. I'll tell you. We're on a private contract with Infinity LTD. It's for something they call Project Dominion. Dr. Lane and I were instructed to conduct human trials on several... volunteers. So far? Only one patient has survived. You're telling me? When Infinity hired us, they said human trial authorization was already underway and we'd have the approvals in a matter of days. The days went by and nothing. Every time we'd ask, it was always just days away, but we kept working. Between the money and potential success, it was easy to tell ourselves that they'd come through. Sean, what the hell is going on here? Who is this? <sighs> it's moments like these when I think I just need to hear someone say it out loud. Sean spoke the truth. We thought the approval would arrive any day, so we continued with the project. By the time we started to catch on, it was already too late. We were too immersed in the line. Doctors are supposed to act ethically. Approvals or not. You... You really think that's possible? Oh, it's good to know you see it that way. The public would not be as kind. Neither would our peers. Go ahead and do whatever you need to do. You can have full access to my computer. And thanks. As much as I was ready to commit career suicide, the very thought terrified me. I never should have put my pride before the lives of others. Just let me know. Clamp 
Has released. Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. Looks like it. This should be more than enough. Now, I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC-1? Hm. Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rotha site. Were there any survivors? Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. Especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? I figured it was related. And were you able to determine the purpose of this secure wing? So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. Infinity appears to be on an entirely different level of corruption. It cannot be allowed to continue. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. We'll determine the truth for ourselves once Yuko has extracted the information. But if you're right, I see no issues in allowing them to remain anonymous. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. It certainly is. And it's also time to inform the rest of the board on the current situation. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the moles I... I've called a meeting, and I expect you to attend. evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. 
Ularu is the mole. So this clears Imogene of wrongdoing. Good. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. I can understand the need for deception, but it does come at quite a cost. Good. Keeping Ularu in the dark is the key to taking her down. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I've no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, let's attend a meeting. We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Watch me. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Kasako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. 
Vina will be waiting for you in the Neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. has certainly taken time to craft an appearance for itself. Neuro amps are fascinating, are they not? Ah, still here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. The internal neuroamp is basically the next leap in our line of influential amplifiers. It gives the user dominion over a less dominant target, meaning you can heavily influence another person's thoughts and actions. Hey, let's not get carried away there. That terminology is a bit heavy-handed. So, are you ready to get started? Yes, I always love a win. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards, provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple checked the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Of course. We've got, what, five PhD? Six, but who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready. This has not all been a horrible miscalculation, then... You appear dehydrated. I suggest the immediate ingestion of a moderate quantity of water. All right, let's get this party started. was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. So, how are you feeling? You look good? That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary, so be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Great. Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. DeMarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation. I am not permitted to perform medical practices.
So what do you research and develop up here? It is hard not to. I've always wanted to worry about implications. Name of energy product and someone up here is probably. Oh my god, that was incredible. What was your activation? Wow. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. If anyone else got their hands on natural technology, and yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation, and you owe me a hundred credits. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. <coughs> so, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Yes! Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural amp isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete, and Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Didn't Vina say Masako wants to see you? Keep out of my way. No downtime was going to be. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuroamp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Ryujin Industries. And wish he shall every day while he rots away in prison. All right. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or... Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse, so I hope you're prepared for an adventure. Any mercenary or disgruntled worker can go shoot a place up. You're a Ryujin operative, so start acting like one. Now. I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, 
Once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Nero Amp. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know, doesn't hurt them. It is best to keep the public unaware of such a device. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Understood. Now we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, Every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. My thoughts exactly. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Well, you're still here, so apparently you didn't need it that bad. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, Feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own. It certainly will, and we'll have front rows. So, any final questions before you go? Depending on whether or not you evacuate the building, you'll mostly be looking at security guards, much like we have here. You may encounter an automated defense system in the form of turrets as well, so be careful. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when- Here's Simon's passcode. Your, your cover ID card is encoded with roof and- Don't screw this up. for ages. Do you have the program? I'm certain Ularu won't pass up this opportunity. So, let's take a look. Ah, the decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. So it is clear what she intended. Now all that is left is to decide what to do with this information. 
I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. Then it is time we use it. Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Olaru is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. Security here is so visible. I suppose it makes people more comfortable. Most people, anyway. Contact someone directly if you need to schedule an appointment. Hello, did you have an appointment with us today? Ah, yes, from Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. Welcome to Infinity LTD's marketing department. Does he notify me that you are in? Hey, if you just have a seat, I can notify Miss Hart that you've arrived.
notify Miss Hart that you are here. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner. personnel must evacuate the building. Please find the nearest exit and contact emergency services.
Please try not to alert anyone to what you're doing.
protect it, there will hopefully be valuable data. It's important that the people of the United Com Can I help you? All right. You've got my... What's this so-called story about? Corporate greed claims victims once more. And you have evidence to support this claim. Perfect stranger or not, we won't air anything without some sort of hard evidence. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. I figured as much. Maybe your friend here would care to comment? The friend has no comment. I see. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. understand how anyone can tolerate the lights and the music for long. If my shift goes on again, I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. Wrong. The execution matters just as much. Something you should have learned by now. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet, not useful enough to avoid a body count? 
Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barron for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom. So this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. I suppose it is all very simple when you do not consider the impact on actual human lives. Just your bottom line. I'm glad we're on the same page. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree and... You have the perfect tool to help sway them. Good. You'll find most of the board members in their offices prepared. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO... Your response? It'd be unlike her to not fully exploit an advantage. Uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good. And we do gain a wider customer base, which... You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best... an issue. That would be a foolish move. Dalton and Alexis are the only two against it. You'd never get the rest to shut it down. Dangerous indeed. Perhaps I didn't see it earlier, but you... 
The last thing I want is to have my brain scream. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. Don't wander into any restricted area. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. I assume Masako briefed you. That blasted tech. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion. I knew it was a grave security risk. And... Hmm. My first priority will be to get the board and all security members. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload on. The last thing I want to deal with are any more... I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for them. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient. Now, if you excuse me, I have... We'll be announcing Ula... Is Masako checking up on me to make... Well, you can... We just need to grab Infinity. I'm all about free PR. Infinity is that sad company in distress. We are the warm embrace of security. You know, you're right. There's really too much we don't know about their financial and... If any of those ghosts come to haunt, all that good PR would disappear. I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done. So let's hear it. <laughs> Don't I know it. We'll discuss security ram- It's sure to be- Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. So much work to do. <sighs> Great. You heard correct. I All right, I could use the entertainment. Hmm. I'm starting to. The benefits definitely exist. I prefer to operate on... You're right. Perhaps I am focusing too much on the negatives. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs... Are you trying to add to my stress? First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation. I'll do whatever I can to me. Well, that is one thing. Tech like this only has good app. Once that tech hits a market. And not only that, the tech... Well, I'm both glad and surprised. 
Masako's lucky to have you at her. You may be the greatest of... This exchange has been... If Operation starts to bore you, let me know. You make a perfect lab rat for the... And how's my favorite... Oh, that's great. One step closer to... So... I'd be the next Ray de Carrot. How amazing would that be? So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity... That's what I'm hoping for. They may... Well, this has certainly been the most interesting converse. All we can do now is look for... You're looking... interesting today. Just the person I... Good. I prefer... You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Saving the jobs of thousands is altruistic, which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. This is true. Infinity never had the financial resources to match our... Getting what few capable employees they have at half the salary we typically pay here could have major payoffs in the long run. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled... And why do you feel it was well handled? Please note I'm not disagreeing. I just want to know the why behind your statement. Being prepared for anything is a great asset, one that Masako excels at. I appreciate the... This has been rather enlightening for me. Alright everyone, as you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial, and he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. That, and Infinity LTD's current situation, makes them more affordable than ever. Arguments? Acquiring Infinity LTD now is not a good look. Especially if the public believes Masako was involved. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. 
the malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to wa- Security. Escort Miss Chen to her office, and see that she stays put. You'll regret this. All of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right. Back to business. Aye. Aye. All against? Nay. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? Any other matters to bring forth? None? This concludes our order of business for today. If only there were more hours in the day. So, Infinity LTD learn. You've proven yourself to be... I suppose it is. I truly appreciate the work you... I can imagine it may have... There was no honor in the... Imogene's instincts were right. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. And also your opinion. As for the details, I think so. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like out and make sure to subscribe button. I was trying to get for that mission as fast as possible so that, you know, this would in be an enjoyable video to watch. But hey, this is what happens when you take on a quest that's unpredictable and you've never done before. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys again soon.